Hello mga kamat wizard. So mayroon na naman tayong bagong pag-aaralan ngayon. Pero bago ang lahat, kung bago ka palang sa aking channel, huwag mong kakalimutang mag-like, comment, share, and subscribe na din para updated ka sa aking videos na i-upload for my lesson. Without further ado, let's proceed to our discussion. Okay, so our topic for today is all about illustrating linear equation in two variables. So ano nga ba ang linear equation in two variables? So by the definition, or according to the definition, linear equation in two variables is an equation that can be written in the form ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to 0, and b is not equal to 0. Okay? So, masasabi lang natin na ang ating equation ay nasa linear equation if we have two variables. Ano ba yung two variables niya? We have the variable x and variable y. For the variable x and y, take note that when we say linear equation, ang kanilang degree ay imaginary 1, kagaya dito. Kaya siya tinawag na linear equation in two variables. Because we have two variables, the x and y, and the degree of x and y is imaginary 1. Okay? Where a and b represents the real numbers, or these are the positive and negative integers, or negative numbers. And a is not equal to 0, and b is not equal to 0. Because if a and b is equals to 0, therefore, it is not a linear equation. Okay? So, dapat hindi mag-equals to 0 yung a natin, at ganun din yung b, para masabi natin siya ay linear equation in two variables. Okay? So, the general form of linear equation in two variables. So, ax plus by equals c is the general form of linear equation in two variables. Where a and b is what we call the numerical coefficient of the equation, while c is what we call the constant term or the constant of the equation. Okay, so a and b is the coefficient of the equation and c is the constant term. While the slope-intercept form, okay, so itong slope-intercept form is nakuha siya by the general form ax plus by equals c. So, paano ba makukuha ang ating slope-intercept form? Okay, so using the general form, okay, so ax plus by equals to c, to write our slope-intercept form, the first step is we need to transpose ax term to the right side of the equation. Okay, and that is equals to by equals to negative ax plus C. Okay? Since the variable y has a coefficient b, therefore, to isolate this b or to isolate this term by, we need to divide both sides by b para maiwan na lang sa atin ay yung y sa left side ng ating equation. So, i-divide natin yung b. So, we're going to divide by divide by b equals to negative ax over b plus c over b. So, pwede na natin i-cancel si b because they are the same. Okay? And that is equals to y equals to mx plus b. Okay? So, yung negative ax over b ay nire-represent na yung m natin. While c over b ay nire-represent na yung b natin. Ito talaga yung ating slope-intercept form sa ating linear equation in two variables. Where n is what we call the slope and b is the y-intercept. Okay? So, now, tell whether if the following is a linear equation in two variables or not. So, we have the general form of the equation. Okay? So, linear equation in two variables and not. So, we're going to classify or we're going to identify if it is a linear equation in two variables or not. So, let's have the first equation. 2x equals to 5y plus 5. Okay? So, this is an example of linear equation in two variables. Why? Because we have two variables, x and y. Even though the equation is not written in 
general form, but if we're going to transpose positive 5y to the left side of the equation, it becomes 2x minus 5y equals to 5, where they are the same with the general form. Okay? Next, 5y squared minus 7xy equals to negative 1. Is this an example of linear equation in two variables or not? Okay? So this is not an example of linear equation in two variables. Why? Because y has a degree of 2. Like I said a while ago, that when you say linear equation, the degree of variable x and y is imaginary 1 or 1. Okay? Kaya siya tinawag na linear equation kasi ang kanyang degree ay 1. And if you're going to take a look on the second term, the x and y is on a single term. Therefore, this is not a linear equation of two or the linear equation in two variable. Okay? Next, x plus y equals to negative 6. Okay, so this is a linear equation in two variables because we have the variable x and variable y. Even though uh, we cannot see a coefficient here but we have an imaginary one for the variable x and variable y. Okay? Next, the equation is 5x minus 7 equals to negative x squared. Okay? So this is not a linear equation in two variables because we have a single or we have only one variable which is x and the degree of our variable x is 2. The highest degree of the equation is 2. That's why this is not a linear equation in two variables. Okay? So we have the another equation x squared plus y squared equals to 10. Okay? So this is not a linear equation in two variable because of the degree is 2. Another is 2x plus 2xy squared equals to 10. Okay, so again, uh, they, they are almost the same with 5y squared. So this is not a linear equation in two variables. Okay, so let's have another. So 3x minus 4y equals to 2. So this is a linear equation in two variables because we have the variable x and variable y. Last example is 8 equals to 11 minus 3x. Okay, so for our last equation or for our last example of equation, so is it a linear equation or not a linear equation in two variables okay so this is a linear equation in two variables because we have the variable x and we have the variable y if you're going to arrange this one if you're going to transpose it to the left side so it become negative positive 3x minus 11y equals to negative 8 so it is an example of linear equation in two variables okay so now let's complete the table by identifying the value of a b and c of linear equation okay ax plus by equals c so this is our general form in linear equation in two variables so we have example here okay so we have five example or five equation okay so we have for the first equation is 3y minus 4x equals 9. If you're going to observe, if you're going to take a look on our equation number 1, 3y minus 4x is not a range. Therefore, we cannot say that the value of a is 3 and the value of b is negative 4 because in our general form, always the ax term is the first term of the equation. Okay. So, if you're going to arrange this one, it becomes negative 4x plus 3y equals to 9. Therefore, the value of A here is negative 4. For the value of B is 3. And for the value of C is 9. Okay? For number 2 equation, we have 5x plus 3y equals to negative 1. So, A is 5. B is 3. And C is negative 1. 
Okay? Next, for number 3, we have 3x minus 3y equals to 6. For letter A, for the value of A is 3. For the value of B is negative 3 because our operation is minus. Okay? Lagi natin ikakapi yung minus sign para sa value ng ating numbers, especially if katulad nito. Magiging negative 3 yung value ng B natin. Okay? And for C is positive 6. For A, in equation number 4 is negative 2 because of negative sign. And for B is positive because of plus, positive. And for C is positive 11. And for number 5 is the same ng sila sa number 1 na equation na kung saan ay hindi naka-arrange. So kapag i-arrange natin yan, that is equals to negative 3x plus 4y equals to 2. Kaya ang value ng A natin ay negative 3 ang value ng B ay 4, at ang value ng C ay positive 2. Okay, so that is on how to identify the value of A, B, and C. Now, let's identify the slope M and Y-intercept B of a given linear equation. Sorry, okay, it should be a linear equation. Again, so identify the slope m and y-intercept b of a given linear equation y equals to mx plus b. So this is our slope-intercept form y equals to mx plus b. So we're going to identify this. Thing. So we have the given equation here, slope-intercept form, okay? So take note that when you say slope is the m, the m represents the slope, while b is represents the y-intercept, okay? So here we have the equation y equals to 3 over 2x plus 5. So our slope here is 3 over 2, while the x-intercept or the value of b is positive 5, okay? So ito yung ating slope 3 over 2. When we say, uh, kapag nag-identify tayo ng slope at na y-intercept, hindi natin kinakailangang include yung variable x natin. Only the coefficients or the numbers. Okay? Next, for number 2, y equals to negative 2x plus 1. So, the slope here is negative 2 and the y-intercept here is positive 1. And for number 3, y equals to negative x minus 3. So, the slope here is negative 1. Meron tayong imaginary 1 para sa variable x. And the y-intercept here is negative 3 because of minus 3. Okay? For number 4, y equals to 4x minus 7. The slope here is positive 4 or 4. And the y-intercept is negative 7 because of minus 7. For the last equation or for the last slope intercept form y equals to 3x minus 5 the slope here is 3 and the y intercept here is negative 5 because of minus 5 okay so that is that that are the slope 3 over 2 negative 2 negative 1 4 and 3 and the y intercept is 5 1 negative 3 negative 7 and negative 5 okay so kapag sinabi natin slope only the numbers or the coefficient. We're not include the variable x. Okay? And yung y-intercept naman natin is always na yung last term natin or yung last constant term natin sa ating equation. Okay? So now let's proceed to the graph of linear equation. Okay? So ano ba yung graph ng ating linear equation? So maraming uh, class and ng graph ng linear equation. Okay? So, maaaring isa sa mga ipapakita ko sa inyo ay yung possible graph natin sa ating linear equation. We have, ayan, so yan ay graph din ng ating linear equation. Ito yung first graph natin. We have the second graph. Ayan. When we say linear equation, ang graph ng linear equation ay isang straight line. It can be uh, diagonal or ah uh, sorry it can be a slant line or like this one ayan okay po so ayan yung mga possible na graph ng ating linear equation 